Okay, here, everybody, I want to shoot this quick video. I'm going to show you pretty much what we look at when we are trading. Um, I, I do, I, in addition to our strategy, guys. Really simple. Really simple. Let me bring this in. Okay, right now we're in, um, we're in GU, NZD CAD, and GCAD, right? Okay. What we're doing, this is NCAD, I'm on a four hour time frame. We see when price is trending, right? We know price is going to, price never goes straight up in the air, right? Up sideways, up sideways, up sideways, up sideways, up, and changes trend, right? So these sideways moves what we call pullbacks, right? It's trending up, as you can see, price is trending up, but it has pullbacks. Pullbacks mean, you know, it goes up and it pulls back, it goes up, pulls back, it goes up, pulls back, and continues. And we're going to, if we were trading this right here, we're going to trade this buy, and we're going to keep buying it until it forces us to sell it. Right? So how do we know when we're forcing us to sell it? That's the biggest thing. You never know how long a trend is gonna go. But with our method, we have, you know, we can we can kind of you know figure out when we're ready to turn around. Okay, so let's just say um we're on this trade right here, we're going up. I don't take the first run. Um, I first of all I always trade with the trend, never counter trend trade, never counter trend trade, right? So all I'm doing is waiting for price to break over my 200 in my uptrend break, over my 200 moving average, and I'm trading the pullbacks. Pullback, up, pullback, up. That's it. So when I'm changing trends over here, when I'm changing trends over here, I'm waiting for price to come down. I may miss this entire run by not trading it. The reason being is because when I'm buying this up here, I'm buying it, right? And, and um and go. I have an I have an exit strategy that takes me out of the trade. It lets me know to get out of the trade. And then I will not get back into that trade until my buying, you know, when I get my pullback and I get my other criteria met to continue to buy. Well on this trade, I never got my, my buy continuation criteria. It, it just never happened. You can see it, and it didn't buy. I never got so I never got into that. Right? I never got into it. And if I did get a buy continuation uh, signal to get in and then it pulls back. Um, you know, it pulls back. I have an extra strategy for when it does that. And if it goes back again to buy again, I leave it alone because that means what price is doing what? It's just going up, it's going sideways and consolidate. I leave it alone. So out of that whole run, I may lose one. Right? But we're trying to get all the pullbacks up. Then when it turns around, my ex, my entry strategy, you know, I'm not looking for this first run because I don't know when this buy pullback, I don't know when this buy continuation is going to be done. So I miss this because I don't get into the sale because if I get into the sale, that sale could just be a pullback for a buy continuation. So I don't care about that. I don't care about what I miss. I care about what I make. So I let the trend go ahead and establish. So this trend goes ahead and establish, then I get a pullback, right? I get a pullback below my 200. Once I got my pullback, I know I'm in the trend now. I got this trend. I, I can go back and see this trend right over the three weeks from June 11th all the way down to July 8th, almost a month. So I know I'm in the trend on this pair. And you might say, well, that's a long time to wait. Yeah, but I got 28 pairs plus my crypto pairs I'm trading, my indices I'm trading with. So I got enough pairs not to have to worry about missing this. So after this pullback, I know I'm trending. So I get in on this one. Write it down, right? We have an extra strategy. So we're not going for 10 to 15 to 20 pips anymore. We're going for 50 to 100 to 200 to 300 pips now. Okay, so that's pretty much the strategy, guys. If I go to and look at GU where we're in right now, GU we're in right now, the first entry was right here off of my pullback, right? And the second entry was right here. Uh, I'm sorry, the second, the, the first entry was down here after my pullback. Right, and the second entry. Now, these, you might be saying these are pullbacks too, but they don't mean my they don't meet my strategy, right? So I'm waiting. So my first entry was here. My second entry came here after price pulled back up here. As the price pulled back, um, I, I to right here. I'm sorry, we got our first entry was right here, right? My first one's right here. Price came out and pulled back. Once I got my set, my 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 pullback here, I put another entry in. Now you see it's dropping, right? So we'll hold this trade. We know it's trending, right? We know this trade is trending now. Right? So we're not worried about any consolidation. We're not going to have a lot of consolidation when we do this because I'm looking at certain things. Okay? So we get in on the second trade. And this is, hopefully, this is where we can kind of catch it at the top. And, you know, actually, we're not catching it at the very top, but we're catching it as strong as to where it came back. Price came from down here. Price came from down here. So even on our entries, you know, even on our, our first entry, that's 70 some pips there. If you got in on this entry, that's about close to 100 pips. So you have close to 170 pips once the price comes down. Not saying it's going to, but you know, as you see, you know, it's working fairly well. 
Now let's just say our 200 was closer up and we got our pullback closer up. Then we catch that trend all the way down. It just depends on where we enter in with our strategy, all right? So guys, that's what we're looking at here um, when we send out these signals. You know, so we, we I feel pretty confident with this strategy, with my pullback strategy, working very well.